Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. BP. Cameron. No question. Holly Button. No question. Thank you. Joe Quip. No question. Thanks, sir. I just have a couple questions, uh, Mr. Stone. Um, in determining the causes of this casualty, we, we examined many aspects, including the, um, the company's safety culture and the vessel safety management system, their effectiveness. Um, where are you, are, are, do you supervise anybody as a motorman on this vessel? No, I'm not, not a supervisor. Okay, so the chain in your organization go from Mr. Newman down to you, right? Yes. Okay, now throughout these hearings, we heard that, you know, with Transocean, safety is rig efficiency. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. Okay, um, we talk about, uh, they talk about, uh, the witnesses talk about Transocean witnesses talk about um, uh, everyone is empowered to stop an operation if they feel that uh, there's a safety concern. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. Um, if I tell you that uh, based on our testimony, we understand that there was well control issues, and we understand that there was, uh, and the top managers on the horizon were given tour to uh, BP and Transocean VIP during that period? Do you think that is consistent with uh, Transocean uh, stated corporate uh, safety uh, policy? Excuse me, Captain, I, I have to object. This witness is being asked to comment on a policy of, of the company based upon a set of facts. And he, we haven't established that he understands any of the facts. He, the fact that there may have been a VIP tour may mean something, but how can he correlate those facts to actually what was taking place to know if the company's safety policy was being enforced or ignored. There's a lot of wiggle room in there, and I just don't know how he will interpret your question. So therefore, I have to object. I understand. And, and the way I frame it, safety is rig efficiency. Everyone is empowered to shut down an operation if they feel there was a safety concern. And we have the situation where there was well control issues, and there was the top manager was given VIP tour, to, which is routine up a visit, from what I understand, and also that, uh, uh, but there was also well control issues. Now, do you think those activities involved by the top managers consistent with the company stated corporate vision, a yeah, safe no, vision? I, I, I have to he, he's empowered to, to think whether it's safe or not there. I'm, I'm just, that's he's, what the company he's policy says. to make his own judgment as to whether something is safe and to shut it down. You're not asking him that question. If you ask him that question, he will answer it. You're asking him about whether some policy was being fulfilled. Do you think that the, if there was well control issues, the top manager should be involved in, 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 in working on that, uh, th those uh, well control issues instead of giving VIP, VIP tours? Should they stop what they were doing and go address the well control issues? Let me make sure I understand your question. You're asking him what he sh thinks the top manager should do in a well control situation? in accordance with the with stated corporate uh, safety vision. Captain, I, I would ask that you're not asking this question. I hope that he will not venture this opinion. Do you this think is, that situation is, is consistent with the company uh, stated uh, safety vision? This is testimony that is given, being given under oath on the penalty of perjury. And as you reminded him, false statements are punishable by imprisonment and or a fine. You're asking him to speculate, to opine on what others may have been doing and to make a judgment under oath. It's not proper, and I submit that he shouldn't be asked to answer this question. I understand. Now you have to. You have a choice an to answer or not answer, answer. answer. It's, it's up, up to you. you. I do not wish to answer. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Stoner, just uh, I, I wanted to go back to your uh, statement in that uh, Lieutenant Kerry Duke, investigating officer, Sector New Orleans, wrote you, wrote for you, excuse me. Is there a difference between engines being running and online? Uh, yeah. Okay. What is what does it mean when engines are running? Uh, if it's online, uh, if it's running, in other words, it's not connected. In other words, the generator's not connected. 
if it's online, uh, the generator is connected. Okay. And in your statement, it says, I am unsure if engine four was running, but number three engine was running, number three on port side and number four on starboard side. Does that mean they were running? Uh, I'm not trying to confuse you. I just, yeah, I, you told us today that number six and num or number three and number six were online. That's what you right. told us today. That's not in your statement. So I just wanted to clarify your statement here today to us was three and six was online. And your written statement or the statement that was written by Lieutenant Duke of Sector New Orleans is simply documenting what you said was running. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think you're asking him, was it, were three and six running or were they simply online? Is that what you're asking? I think it's clear that three and six were on the line. Right. And in your statement here, the written statement taken by you, it's simply stating other engines were running. I may have not quite heard him whenever because my hearing was still a little bit off whenever I was making that statement. So, I mean, he may have said four and I may have just agreed okay. thinking that he said six. All right. Good enough, sir. Thank you very much. Mr. Stone, thank you for your testimony today. Um, are there any questions that we have not asked or any information that you think we need to know that are relevant to this uh, investigation that you want to offer? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. So if we, in the future, we need you to come back to uh, provide additional information, would you make yourself available? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're dismissed. The hearing is adjourned for today. Uh, we will reconvene at uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you. <laughs>